Hello students, in this video I am going to explain separation of mixture of primary, secondary and tertiary amines. So when you have the mixture of primary, secondary and tertiary amine, we can separate uh, those by using many methods. But in this video I am going to explain one of the method that is called Hinsberg method. Okay. Before starting with this method, let us see what are amines and what, are, what is the difference between the primary and secondary and tertiary amines. Uh, that is the amines are the derivatives of the ammonia that is ammonia which is having the formula that is NH3. In NH3 one or more hydrogen atoms which have been replaced by alkyl groups. Uh, those can be classified as primary, secondary and tertiary depending upon the replacement of alkyl group in the ammonia. If uh, uh, in case uh, in ammonia, if one hydrogen is replaced by any alkyl group, then it is considered as primary. If two hydrogens are replaced by the alkyl group, then it is considered as secondary amine. If three hydrogens are replaced by any other alkyl group, then it is considered as tertiary amine. Hope you got the idea that what is the difference between primary, secondary and tertiary amine. Now let us discuss how to separate these primary, secondary and tertiary amines. So if they are mixed while synthesizing or maybe uh, if you got the mixture of product, how to separate that, that I am going to tell in this video that is by using one of the method called Hinsberg method uh, where Hinsberg is a scientist name. Uh, his name is Oscar Hinsberg. Uh, he he described this method in 1890. Uh, let us see what is that method. Uh, in this method, he is going to use one of the reagent that is also that is commonly called as Hinsberg reagent. That is nothing but the para tolvin sulfonyl chloride. Okay, that is nothing but the chemical name of that Hinsberg reagent is para tolvin sulfonyl chloride. Uh, you can see the slide in tolvin which is attached by the SOCl okay that is a formula is C6H4CH3 SO2Cl. So for the mixture of primary and secondary tertiary amines when you add this Hinsberg reagent in presence of uh, sodium hydroxide and water how it is going to react with all those three let us discuss one by one. Uh, at the beginning when we add the Hinsberg reagent where primary amine react with reagent in presence of sodium hydroxide. So where the primary amine will take it as RNH2 that is the general formula for the primary amine that is RNH2 when it reacts with Hinsberg reagent in presence of sodium hydroxide and water where one of the hydrogen in amine replaced by the uh, Hinsberg reagent as a result we are going to get the N alkyl para tolvin sulfonamide. So since there is one more hydrogen available for the reaction it also reacts with the sodium hydroxide which gives the water soluble sodium salt. So this is the whatever the primary product which is water soluble it forms the salts that is the N alkyl para tolvin sulfonamide. What is, uh, so what is the pi? whatever the primary product that is the water soluble let us see how the secondary amine is going to react okay in secondary amine which is having the formula R2NH where two alkyl group replaces the hydrogen in ammonia that we already discussed okay when uh, when it is treated with uh, Hinsberg reagent in presence of sodium hydroxide and water since it is having only one hydrogen which reacts with the Hinsberg reagent which forms the Yanyan dialkyl para tolvin sulfonamide okay which is water soluble it does not react within second step it does not react with the sodium hydroxide because which is having only one acidic hydrogen and whatever the product form that is water insoluble in primary product it is water soluble in the secondary product it is water insoluble. Let us see how the tertiary amine is going to react with Hinsberg reagent. Okay. Uh, in tertiary amine which is having the formula that is R3N, there is no free av available hydrogen in this case. As a result, Hinsberg reagent as well as sodium hydroxide is not at all going to react. So there will be a no reaction. It remains as an insoluble material in the alkaline media. So among three, where tertiary amine as well as secondary amine remain as an insoluble products, where primary amine it is soluble in 
water okay so this alkaline mixture whatever we obtain that is extracted with ether when it is that is uh, in the next step we have to extract that with ether extracting is nothing but when we add the ether with whatever the insoluble uh, products are maybe unreacted tertiary amine and the uh, sulfonamide of the secondary amine which passes to the ether layer uh, you can see the slide uh, in this slide uh, the picture is visible that is the separating funnel okay you can see that there are two layers so whatever the secondary amine product and the tertiary amine product goes to the ether layer and the primary amine product which comes to the water layer so uh, this is the separating funnel when you open this you can collect separately these two uh, liquids you can col collect in the separate beaker so after collecting that uh, whatever the uh, ether layer which contain secondary amine product and uh, unreacted tertiary amine unreacted tertiary amine uh, when it is subjected to the evaporation ether get evaporate when it is subjected to the e evaporation ether get evap uh, evaporate after that remaining mixture is subjected to the distillation so what is distillation you can see the slide in that there is a picture visible so in the uh, this is the distillation process where this is the RB which is having the secondary amine product as well as the unreacted tertiary amine among two uh, tertiary amine is highly volatile so since being a more volatile which collected as a distillate uh, when you uh, do the process of distillation since it is more volatile compound comes at the first as a result uh, tertiary amine which comes and collect as a distillate in the dist uh, conical flask so we got the pure tertiary amine then remaining is secondary amine product that will be in the round bottom flask uh, that residue when you hydrolyze with HCl that residue when you hydrolyze with HCl uh, uh, we will get the secondary amine hydrochloride, we will get the secondary amine hydrochloride uh, then once again when it is treated with sodium hydroxide uh, in the second step we will get the pure secondary amine. Uh, let us see aqueous layer, uh, layer containing salt of sulfonamide of the primary amine which is acidified with HCl uh, when it is free from the sulfonamide is formed so whatever the uh, product that uh, once again it reacts with the HCl in presence of water which forms the primary amine hydrochloride once again when it is treated with sodium hydroxide it forms the primary amine so uh, in this method we got the primary amine secondary amine and tertiary amine separately uh, let me con once again explained briefly in this Hinsberg method at the beginning for the primary and secondary tertiary amine when you treat with Hinsberg reagent in presence of sodium hydroxide and water where primary amine uh, for, uh, form a product which is water soluble product and the secondary amine form a product which is water insoluble and the tertiary amine is not at all going to react with the, those reagent hence there is no available hydrogens to react so among three two are water insoluble one is water soluble so when you extract it with ether so whatever the secondary product and the tertiary unreacted amine which goes to the ether layer and the primary amine product comes to the water layer when it is separated after you have to heat when you heat uh, ether get evaporated then subjected to the distillation when you subjected to the distillation primary uh, tertiary amine being a more volatile is connected which get con which is collected in the distillate first we will get the tertiary amine there whatever the remaining secondary amine product residue when it is treated with uh, HCl we will get the um, secondary amine hydrochloride once again when it is treated with sodium hydroxide we will get the pure secondary amine similarly primary amine product that is present in the aqueous layer which is treated with Hinsberg reagent uh, uh, when it is treated with hydrochloric acid 
once again we will get the primary hydrochloride after that when we treat with sodium hydroxide we will get the primary amine in this way we can separate the these two these three amines this can also use this method can also be used for the detection of primary secondary tertiary amine thank you